you played international cricket for Australia and uh, you know you represented your company in the highest level. How did you get there? How did you get to know that you know cricket is my thing? This is what I need to do. So how did it happen with you personally? It started quite early. You know, playing cricket in the backyard with family, with friends when I was you know six, seven years old, mm -hmm. uh, and it just morphed into there. I, I played a range of different sports from soccer to tennis to cricket. Um, but cricket was the one that really took over and that I enjoyed the most. Um, I still get, like going back and kicking the soccer ball around or kicking a footy or playing tennis uh, because I think that creates a well-rounded athlete for, for cricket. Mm. Um, but cricket was the one that took over for me through the, you know, the later teenage years and, uh, and on to where I am now. And um, I was talking to Amir uh, a while back. And, you know, he, he told me stories about what goes on behind the performance in the field. You know how much a player puts in what he goes through in life. Is there anything at all that you went through that people don't know about? Lots of injuries. I think for the mm -hmm. first probably five, six, maybe even seven years of my career, I probably missed more cricket than I played just through injury. Mm -hmm. but I was getting injured at training, I was getting injured in games. And at that point in time, I was playing all three formats of the game. You know, first class cricket, four day cricket, uh, one day in 2020 when that started as well. So it was a heavy workload and I just didn't have a body that, uh, that could cope with all that. Um, you know, but I've sort of found my niche now with um, you know, more of a batting focus, still bowling you know, whenever I can, whenever I need to, um, but working hard off the field, um, I think is the biggest one for, for where I'm at at the moment. Whenever I've been on the ground, he practices a lot more than a lot of other players. I won't name anyone, but um, the fact is he's the first one on the ground, he's the first one in the nets, he's the first one to get the ball and start bowling as well. And as I've noted, in, in the matches also, when the team goes out, you're the first one who gets running and gets warmed up. So how, how, how do you keep that motivation going and how do you keep that fitness uh, going? I think a lot of that comes with age and experience. Yeah. You know, I've, I've been around a while now, yeah. uh, almost 18 or 19 years of professional cricket that I know what doesn't work for my body and I know what works for my body and my game. Um, so I've just got my routine. Uh, I stick to it every, every tournament before every game um, to make sure that my body is primed and ready to go. If, whether it's a batting day or a bowling day, it doesn't matter. I'm preparing to do both regardless of you know, what's lies ahead. Mm -hmm. And um, what is it that you eat? want your diet like? So I, I want to know this because I haven't seen a meeting. Everyone around him, is, has uh, played fools, including myself. He, I have never seen you eating. Why? Man, you're just picking all the time because I can't stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm active all the time. I'm, I'm constantly burning calories. So I'm having, you know, my three big meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and then I'm having, you know, a couple of snacks in between for morning tea and, and afternoon tea to, to keep the body going and give me enough fuel to, to train, to recover, which is the most important thing as well. We're also at a juncture in your life where people start thinking, okay, that's it for me. They think about hanging their boots and people are doing it. I mean, at an earlier age these days. Has not that thought crossed your mind as well? Oh, for a time to time. Yeah, but that's not just, uh, that's not an age thing. That was four, five, six years ago as well. Mm -hmm. When you're going through injuries, you're going through tough times or a form slump, you always start to ask yourself those questions. But uh, it's probably even more so asked, you know, not from me per se, but from others around you, how long are you going to play for? Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm the fittest I've ever been, I'm the strongest I've ever been, and I feel like I'm in really good form because I've put in those hours off the field for, for as long as I can remember now that um, as long as I'm fit and strong, I'm here to play.